Magnus Carlsen is the current chess world champion and is widely considered as the best chess player of all time. He has taken down opponents match after match, holding one of the longest win streaks of 125 games in a row. But what happens when the champ finds himself up against his arch rival? This is Hikaru Nakamura, known as one of the fastest and deadliest players of all time. Nakamura has built up a resume that would rank him as a top contender against most. With multiple tournament wins under his belt and victories over strong players like Anatoly Karpov and Anish Giri. These two have matched up many times before, but this next game made history. Upon starting the game, Magnus pushes pawn c4, while Hikaru responds with e4. Both players position their knights ahead as the game transitioned into the English opening. After the opening, Magnus would push his d-file pawn up, allowing for the bishop to develop. Hikaru answers with the same d-file pawn, opening up his defense. Magnus, quick to take, captures the d5 pawn, which Hikaru recaptures with his knight, a balanced material exchange. Magnus pushes ahead with e4, forcing Hikaru to take or move his knight. Hoping to maintain material, Hikaru shifts his knight to f4, Magnus, with no hesitation, responds by taking the knight immediately, which Hikaru did not seem too pleased with as he let his emotions show throughout the match. Hikaru would retake with the pawn as he has now lost his central control. More pieces would develop as Hikaru chooses to castle, and Magnus would bring out his two end pawns. The board would be in favor of Magnus at the moment as he continues to apply the pressure by striking pawn to e5. Hikaru, now looking to lose key materials, retreats his bishop away. Losing key material against an endgame maestro like Magnus is not ideal this early on and will impact Hikaru's position. Magnus keeps his foot on the gas, pressuring Black's knight with d5. Hikaru shifts his knight to safety on a5, forcing White to withdraw his bishop and giving Hikaru space to advance his pawn. After a few more turns of developments, Hikaru plays knight c4, sacrificing it in exchange for White's bishop. But this move would only turn out to benefit Magnus, as it created a huge gap in Black's pawn structure. Hikaru brings out bishop b7, looking to support that back position, but Magnus brilliantly activates his queen to d4, where it can easily take advantage of Hikaru's two isolated pawns. Hikaru, knowing the pawns are lost, takes the opportunity to disrupt White's pawn structure with his c6 pawn. He's still searching for his win condition to stay in the game. He goes on to move his rook to c8, putting an x-ray on White's knight, but Magnus wastes no time retreating it but loses more tempo when Black's bishop moves to d6, forcing White's queen to move back as well. After a few more turns of developments, Magnus would make his first big mistake. By shifting his rook to c1, he leaves his queenside pawn structure unguarded. Hikaru looks to capitalize playing rook c4, hoping to form a skewer on White's vulnerable rook. However, Magnus is no average player and prevents any skewer with knight d4. Hikaru takes his chance at a pawn exchange on the b-file and after playing bishop a7, looking to cause trouble for White's queen. While this gives Magnus the chance to pass another pawn to safety, Hikaru follows up on his bishop play with c5. And this is where things start to get intense. Both players start trading off pieces one after another on all areas of the board, yet somehow remain fairly even. Magnus finally answers with g3, aiming to give his king more room to operate. Hikaru should follow suit, but he makes another misplay, retreating his rook behind the black queen and giving Magnus the chance to play the best move in the position with rook c1. This gives Magnus the reinforcement he needs to win any trades on c5, but Hikaru doesn't take the bait, retreating his bishop to f8. However, this gives Magnus a dominant position on d4, where white positions his knight. After knight e6, Hikaru plays bishop a3, looking to gain some tempo, but Magnus is able to win time back, playing rook c3, threatening black's bishop. Hikaru puts his bishop on b4, clearly sacrificing his bishop in exchange for white's remaining knight, but Magnus accepts and quickly positions his rook on c5, looking to check black's king. However, Hikaru withdraws his queen, reinforcing his weak pawn on the h-file after which he evades check from White's rook. Both players take several turns developing their pawns on the king side, but low on time, Hikaru has few options left. He gives Magnus a queen trade in hopes of being able to drag out a draw, but with Magnus's advanced pawn on b7 and just six seconds left on Hikaru's timer, he sees no choice but to resign. Players shake hands, and Magnus remains the best chess player in the world.